Well, hello everyone, welcome back. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to optimize Windows and get the maximum performance over your PC. So the first thing you want to do is go to the link in the description. It's going to be Deploat Windows 10 in 2021. I want you to scroll down to where you see PowerShell and you want to press the copy button. And then you want to type in Windows. You want to press the Windows button and you want to type in Windows PowerShell. You want to press Run as Administrator. And once their pop-up occurs, you want to press Yes. And you're going to get this screen. You're going to make, what the fuck do I do, Joseph? Well, just right click and then it will automatically just paste it and enter it automatically instead of you having to do control V. So um, for me, for me, it, it automatically popped up the window, but for you, it's going to download. Um, so it might take a little bit to download, but this is the screen you should get. So the first thing I want you to do is press essential tweaks. This is basically going to create a restore point to make sure that nothing goes wrong. It's going to disable all the stupid stuff that Microsoft tracks you with and stuff that shouldn't even be on. Uh, in your computer so after that is done there's also a bunch of software you can install through this so there's windows terminal power toys brave browser i would definitely check out power toys if you guys want to get the most out of your system it's a great great program made by microsoft i know horrible um google chrome image viewers uh, media players zip codes uh, uh everything search adobe reader and if you don't want adobe reader, you can have the pdf and then after you do that there's going to be a button called Remove MS Store Apps. So basically, see all these dumb little apps like Spotify Music, Groove, like Maps, Microsoft. Who even uses this anymore? Um, then, you know, Paint, you know, like all the all the Microsoft apps that are automatically installed on the system. So like Office. So you're going to press Remove MS Store Apps. Warning, this will break the Microsoft Store application. So if you do want to get it back, you're just going to have to load up this command again and press reinstall MS Store apps. But if you press remove MS Store app, it's going to remove 3D Builder, app, being finance, being news, being weather, all the stupid things that should not be installed on the PC to begin with. So if we go here, we type in Bing, it, it's, all, it's, you know, it's already gone. People, which is a horrible app. As you can see, it's see it's getting rid of it as, yeah, see it's just going down. This, this will get rid of all the stupid applications that are in here. So like Windows Phone, no one uses that anymore. Um, Xbox app, stupid stuff like that. So once that is done, it might take a little bit depending on how many apps you have. I would definitely recommend running this software after you download Windows for the first time or something like that. See, it's like removing Candy Crush, Netflix, Hulu, all the bloatware apps that come with it. It missed Spotify. I don't know if it classifies Spotify or TikTok as bloatware. And then there's also a button to undo all the tweaks that you want. So if anything messes up and you want something back, you can undo other tweaks. For example, let's do dark mode. We automatically enable dark mode. And then there's these windows updates for you guys. I would recommend pressing default settings unless you guys don't want updates to your computer and you know, like how you're, you know, like sometimes you're playing a game and then boom, Windows update just wants to reset your computer. You can press security updates only, and this will only allow security updates to your computer. But in my opinion, I would just leave it on default settings. Well, that's basically it for this deep loader. There's a lot of good things it does do. A speed of your computer takes away all the bloatware that shouldn't even be on your computer to begin with. That's why I always say whenever you build a computer or you get a new computer from an OEM, you should always, always reinstall Windows again instead of going off the Windows that they provide you. But that's basically it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you guys next time.